Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I am going to do something a little different today. I'm going to do a little mini movie review for a small movie that came out this past week. It wasn't like a big deal or anything. Except due to the fact that I made $350 million at the domestic box office. Congratulations to Marvel. Avengers Endgame truly deserved it. Um, now, this is a spoiler-free review. I'm not going to go into all the details. Um, I'm going to try my best not to because I feel this is a movie experience that needs to be seen in the cinema, in the theater. You, you, No, you cannot wait for it to come on Netflix or the Disney streaming service. You cannot uh, wait till it's on Blu-ray or DVD or, you know, get a bootleg copy. No, none of that. You need to go see this now in the theaters. This is one of the best Marvel movies I have ever seen in, in my life. Um, the Russo brothers, it's like everything they touch of Marvel, of Marvel turns to gold. I mean, their work on The Winter Soldier, then Civil War, then Infinity War, and now with Endgame, I, I don't know how they do it. They're they're so good at it. it it's um it's amazing to me, like how well they craft these Marvel movies. Um, whether it is narrative storytelling, um, people, all the characters, like I guess you could say, like how they interact with each other, the chemistry that they have with one another, the the action scenes. It, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's it's. It's a dream come true. It it really is. I don't. I mean, props to them, man. If I'm glad Kevin Feige brought the Russo brothers on board for Marvel like five, six years ago because we would have never gotten this. So the movie. I mean, where do I even begin without spoiling? Uh, <laughs> I mean, basically, we all know after Infinity War. Uh, some of the adventures were turned to dust, and obviously, as we could tell by the trailers, so uh, this is not spoiler or anything, but you could just tell by looking at the trailers and the TV spots, the remaining Avengers, particularly the original six, are trying to find a way to bring back the dusted characters. Um, so they're trying to undo the whole snap from Infinity War, and which is leading them, as Doctor Strange puts it, in the end game. They're in the end game now. So, I mean, it, it, I will say this without, I'm trying my best not to spoil because, like I said, this is a spoiler free review. Um, throughout the whole theater, like, throughout the whole movie when I was in the theater, I kept getting chills. It, it's like, oh, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? Um, oh, oh my gosh, like, this is going on. What, what does it mean? Oh no, like, you're, I felt like I was on the edge of my seat or that my, I, I was, just clenching, you know, like this, like just like shaking and getting goosebumps because, I mean, yeah, I guess in a sense, you might know what to expect, but then at the same time, you don't. You think you know what's coming, but the Russo brothers are so good that they make you like, just like they turn it around and throw this at you, but in a good way. I mean, so many like twists and turns. Oh my gosh. But that's what makes it so enjoyable. Like you're just on the edge of the seat of your seat with this movie. The cast was phenomenal. I mean it again, without getting into spoilers, for some of these characters, I mean, it is end game. So for some it is in a sense the conclusion, I guess you could say, for some of them, which is uh, it's hard to accept because you grew up with these characters. I mean, Chris Evans as Captain America, or uh, Rob Downey Jr. as Iron Man, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk, uh, Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, and for all the other um, new Avengers and the Guardians, all of that, um, you grow up loving them, and it's hard to see, like, for some of them... Uh, to move on, I guess you could say. How does Captain America say it? Some people move on, but not us. Not us. And for me, it is... 
again, without giving away spoilers, it let's just say it's going to be a new era for Marvel. And obviously they are going to have to find a way to move on. But we'll always have these memories of like the whole Marvel legacy from 2008 till now. Just to see how far it's come. How these actors portray these characters so well. I mean, it, it's... Uh, it is a, a treasure. It, it is something you treasure in your heart. Um, so yeah, I mean, just everything about the movie is amazing. Especially, um, again, without giving away spoilers, but like, where, where the movie reaches is like, ah, like it's, it's amazingness. Like its peak is obviously um, towards, like, I guess you could say like towards the end and the, the third act, so to say. Um, but, yeah, that, that's where most people tend to fangirl or, or, you know, over. So, I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to give spoilers away, but, just, the, the third act of this movie is perfection. Perfection. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say more. Um, but I just want to give you my thoughts of what I think of Endgame. I'll go into more detail of my spoiler review, and I will be doing that, um, most likely on Saturday, hopefully, with a friend. Um, we both saw the movie together, and we obviously want to share our thoughts together. So she's going to accompany me doing uh, the spoiler review um, video. So I know Saturday's like uh, five days from now, but... Just be patient with me, guys, but I just want to share my initial reactions after seeing Endgame. I saw it two times this past weekend. I saw it Thursday night. Uh, theater was packed. Um, I'm glad we got our seats, good seats. Um, and just to hear the joy of everyone cheering and clapping in that theater was amazing. You, you could just feel the movie experience there. I also went Friday morning uh, with my mom and my cousin, and the theater was actually for a morning showing was also pretty packed. I I actually wasn't expecting it to be as that packed in the morning. I mean, at night I could understand because people are off work or at, are off school, but in the morning I was like, "Oh wow, like there's a lot of people here." But also considering the fact that in my hometown right now is spring break, so you know, kids not being in school was obviously a factor, but I just didn't expect it to be as crowded if that made it makes any sense. Um but yeah, oh, yeah, so many cool moments in the movie, which again, I'll go into more detail in my spoiler review with my friend this coming weekend. Um, overall, my thoughts on this movie were just um, amazing. I probably would give this movie, oh man, probably like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, but I'll tell you my reasons why I gave it that score in my spoiler review. Where does it rank in the MCU? Again, I mean, oh, that, that's something I really had to think about. Uh, probably it's, this movie will either be my number one favorite or my number two favorite. It's between, it, it's competing with Infinity War. I say this movie would probably be my number one. Because I feel like all, for all the Russo. Um, brother directed movies that they did with Marvel those are like my top I guess I go with Endgame first then Infinity War then Civil War then the Winter Soldier it's like every movie they did went up it like goes up the scale like it gets better and better and better so uh, it's just amazing I, I just love how the Russo brothers direct their Marvel movies so all four of their movies are like at the top of the list for me so I, I loved it I really did um, again, that was my reaction, initial reactions, mini review of Endgame. Again, I'm trying my best not to go into spoilers. I'm going to do a full length discussion with my friend this coming weekend. We'll go into detail of everything that we saw and how we felt. And yeah, so let me know down in the comments below um, what you guys saw of the movie. If you, please keep in mind this is a spoiler free um, review video. So don't spoil it for others who haven't seen it wait till my spoiler review okay let's keep you know how did the marvel cast say it don't spoil the end game so let's let's be fair on that 
Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Um, what do you guys think of the movie? How, how would you rank it in your MCU favorite movie list? Um, like and subscribe, and as always, take care guys. Bye! See you soon!